For those of you that are my age, you might remember going to school and actually reading documents that were of value. Things like the Constitution. I actually remember having teachers that considered themselves to be liberals who actually said that the Constitution was the greatest document ever penned in world history for any government. I remember social studies teachers that would tell me that the United States of America was the greatest country that ever existed on the face of the earth. And I also remember the days where in social studies, I would actually have a teacher that read us books like Fahrenheit 451. Some of you guys might remember this very interesting book. For those of you that don't know this book, it was written by a guy named Ray Bradbury. And of course, it was uh, very much a dystopian novel that spoke a lot about a particular regime that chose to use a series of firemen to burn down books that were a threat to the totalitarian way of thinking in that regime that being represented. Now, it's interesting, the title, Fahrenheit 451, comes from the fact that burns uh, or books burn at the temperature of 451 degrees. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. And understand this, it's really, really important. We are witnessing a modern day 451, Fahrenheit 451 taking place literally as I speak. Folks, understand this. The age that we are getting into where they are now taking books and making them all digital has absolutely everything to do with the Fahrenheit 451 mindset and very little to do with the mindset of convenience. Think about it like this, folks. They are taking digital books And they are rewriting those books. They are changing words. They are changing paragraphs. They are changing the context of all kinds of thoughts. And anything that the current regime deems as being racist or unfair or outspoken in a way that is damaging to certain members of society, they are getting rid of those books by not just simply hitting the erase button. They are getting rid of those books by changing the way that they were actually authored. We've watched them do it with things like the Bible, and they are doing it now with all kinds of other books. Of course, if it started with the Bible, what do you expect? It's the ultimate book to be changing, which of course brings the ultimate judgment. But the reality of it is, why in the world would they look at burning books if they can just simply take books they don't like and actually change the content of the books? That is what's going on. Folks, understand this. It's not a coincidence that Amazon named their book readers Kindle, right, or Fire. Think about that for a second, right? They are literally lighting these books on fire and no one is really paying attention or noticing it. It is the digital version of Fahrenheit 451. Now, why am I making a big deal of this? I'm making a big deal of it because it is a big deal and it's evil. It's wrong. It's satanically inspired stuff. Folks, this is part of what we see as the spirit of Antichrist. The Bible tells us that at one point, we would see the day when people called good evil and evil good, and they are doing this, and they are making it easier and easier and easier and easier for the general public, groupthink, to kick in and embrace all of this nonsense. Folks, that's what we're looking at right now. We are in the last days, and it's time for us to open up our eyes, pay attention to what the scriptures teach, because God's word, listen, it's never going to change. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. Understand that we need to know the word of God more than we ever have ever before in our lives, because so much more is at stake. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to recognize this, folks, in an age where they're burning books in an age where they are saying God's word is no longer valid and they're changing what God's word is, we need more than ever to be in it. We need more than ever to focus on what God has to say and keep our minds in the place that God intended for us to keep our minds in. And that is directly stayed on him. God bless you guys.